Hey guys, welcome to the video. In this video, hopefully we'll be able to help you out with the situation you might be having. Getting stuck, frozen, or glitched up on your RetroPie when you change the theme. Having something happen to you like me here, where after I did a reboot, I'm at the black screen of death. Sometimes it's the white screen of death. Sometimes it happens while you're in, you, you boot up and you're able to log in, uh, but then it starts freezing up and glitching, whatever. You may have access, well, actually you should have access still to your keyboard so we can get into the terminal. So make sure you got your keyboard set up uh, and hooked up. And um, if you don't, if you're locked out of your keyboard for some reason, at the end or near the end of the video, I'll tell you other ways where we can do this um, in order to be able to hopefully get you going again. So um, one thing you never wanna do is do a hard shutdown of the Pi. <clears throat> so you never want to just unhook the Pi or disconnect it from the wall directly if you're glitching up or freezing or whatever. Of course, you may have done that already, but anyway. So um, I'll tell you what to do here in a minute. So with our keyboard hooked up and here at the black screen, white screen of death, uh, if you're glitching up, whatever, just press the F4 key so we can get into our terminal. And if you want to, if you ever have a problem with RetroPie again and you ever want to get out of, of it, okay, if you ever want to um, <clears throat> just do like a proper shutdown, you can type the word sudo, S-U-D-O, put a space, and then type the word shutdown. Everything should be lowercase. Uh, press enter after you type the word shutdown, and a built-in one-minute timer will go off. And it will, um, you'll see a little prompt there that will tell you that pretty much in a minute or a minute later, um, your uh, Retro Pi will shut down or your Raspberry Pi will shut down and it will and it will shut down properly. If you have a multi-boot SD card like I do where I have various operating systems and you want to boot to the front end of that where you get to choose your operating systems uh, or just to get there to do a proper shutdown, you can do sudo space reboot and press enter and it will reboot to the front end of that multi-boot card. So in this case, let's go ahead and continue with resolving our issue. We're gonna type sudo uh, space and then forward slash home forward slash pi forward slash retro pi the R and the P need to be capitalized, dash, setup, capital S, and then forward slash again, RetroPie, this time all small letters, underscore, setup, all small letters again, and we're gonna do dot SH and press enter. Now if you press enter and it says command not found or whatever, it means you typed it wrong. Everything has to be specific. You have to, everything is case sensitive. So make sure you uh, do everything correctly. Okay, so we're gonna zoom in a bit so you see what we're doing here. All right, <clears throat> now this is on RetroPie 4.0. Yours, if you're on an older Pi, is probably gonna be different because they changed this recently when they went up to 4.0. So anyway, on yours, the way you want to start this off is there should be a, a, a selection here where it says post install configuration or something to that effect. And so you want to start off there. Now, after that, I'm not sure. I, I forgot where it is you need to go, but you'll figure it out because it's not all that many choices. And you'll see what I mean here in a second because you want to basically get to advanced configurations. So uh, let's go in this case down to letter C, which is configurations slash tools. And um, now we're gonna go down to 804, which is config edit. And here is where we wanna be, advanced configuration, all right? So I, I know there's a way to get there on the, uh, on the old setup, I just forgot how, but that's where you wanna go to. And once you go in there, you'll get to see these configurations here. And what we want is number three, which is manually edit global configs and now we're gonna go down to number six. Now on yours it might be different, but the one we're looking for is the all forward slash emulation station forward slash ES 
underscore settings dot config or well, dot cfg that's where we want to go press enter mm -hmm. okay so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here basically everything here just fits in this window so <clears throat> you're going to go down to the second to last one and you're going to see that it says theme set and there is the name of the theme that is giving us problems in this case it's uh, Eudora so we're gonna move the cursor all the way to the first letter of the theme name and we're gonna type the word carbon c-a-r-b-o-n and hopefully you didn't delete your carbon um, the carbon is the default one so hopefully you didn't delete the carbon theme now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna press the delete key and delete the name of the current theme that's giving us an issue make sure you don't delete the quote so you should say carbon with quotes before and after it don't hit space don't do anything else okay now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna press the tab key and we're gonna hit enter one time and now we're back out here okay so be careful at this point what you do you don't want to escape all the way out to the terminal because if you escape all the way out to the terminal and you reboot that way you're going to have issues so you want to escape to the main screen the main setup window where it gives you the option to perform a reboot so slowly hit escape until you get there okay hit escape again and here we are where it says perform reboot okay and we're going to press enter and then it's going to ask to confirm hit move over to yes and press enter and now we should do a reboot now i have a multi-boot card so my reboot is going to take me back to the front end of my multi-boot card your reboot will just reboot you back into emulation station <clears throat> I'm going to launch RetroPie. So now when you do the reboot, you will get rebooted into back into RetroPie uh, and you should be all right. going to happen now hopefully we should be good to go and not have the black screen of death and no we don't we're back in business there we go okay and that's how you do it now if this doesn't work you can also type instead of typing in carbon if you downloaded a different carbon theme you can try that i had downloaded like carbon centered so i typed carbon dash centered inside of those quotes and um it brought me back here <clears throat> all right so all right so what if you're locked out of your keyboard well if you're glitching up or you're in the black screen or white screen of death or whatever you may be able to still connect via ftp now you're not going to be able to get into the terminal obviously because your your keyboard may be locked out usually it, i mean it's really rare that your keyboard will get locked out but if it does you'll have to figure it out another way now you might be able to still log in if you still have the same IP address and you knew what it was, if you saved it, like I use FileZilla and it saves, you know, the it saves your history. So you might be able to log into it that way. If not, if you have another micro SD card, you can put uh, Ubuntu or you could put like Fedora Mate or Raspbian on that card, put it in and then take this card that's giving you the problems, put it on a USB adapter stick. OK, and uh, stick it in there and then where you want to go if you're either doing this via ftp or doing this um uh through fedora mate or ubuntu mate or whatever where you want to go ultimately is um at the front end you'll see a list of folders um on on the root of this um of this sd card that's giving you problems 
and you want to go to the ETC folder and then from there you want to go into the emulation station folder. Now when you go into the emulation station folder you will see um, a folder that says themes and then right underneath that you'll see a couple of files. The file that you want to edit is the es underscore systems dot cfg file. It's not going to say settings here when we do it via the the um, uh, via uh, uh, <clears throat> the, the setup menus it's settings but when you want to edit it um, either using uh, Fedora Mate or FTP or if you um, are able to mount a Linux onto your Windows or if you have a Linux uh, a PC running Linux um, basically that's the file that you need to edit when you open it up like in notepad plus plus or if you open it up with one of the native programs or the native program that's in like fedora made or ubuntu made or raspbian it's going to look exactly the same as it did right here and all you need to do is just hit um uh not, not just hit just uh do what we did and replace the name of the theme that's giving you problems with carbon which is the default theme and you should be back in business sorry the video was so long guys but thanks for watching i hope it helped you out if it did give it a thumbs up you know it helps us out and we'll see you next time please feel free to leave comments and we'll try and get back to you in a timely manner take care guys we'll see you next time